We are here tonight to celebrate a legacy of leading while benefiting Home Health VNA, Merrimack Valley Hospice, and Home Care Inc., the agencies of Home Health Foundation, a not-for-profit healthcare family that served the region for 120 years. The value of these agencies and the work of caring for people in their homes has been ever increasing as we meet the growing needs of more communities as well as the changes in the healthcare environment. Through our mission, our staff creates and delivers innovative and responsive community health programs to keep people healthy and comfortable in the places that they love to call home. We still make house calls, bringing health care and assurances to the door. We care for and support our patients every step of the way, visiting nurses, physical therapists, home health aides, and nurse practitioners have specialty training to provide for the most complex cases. Hospice and palliative care physicians, nurses, social workers, counselors and volunteers focus on making every moment count, finding ways to create treasured moments along the journey for patients and their families. Highlighting the wonderful care along the continuum is a letter received from a patient family member with the following sentiments. When we realized that dad wasn't sleeping well because of anxiety about his health, our home health VNA nurse introduced us to palliative care, support that helped ease his mind so he could sleep well at night and enjoy his days. As his needs progressed, we added hospice. We cherish his being able to remain here at home for each day that he has. Home Health VNA and Merrimack Valley Hospice have made it possible to reach this point for him and our family. They have eased our minds, set our expectations, kept us aware and informed, and taken wonderful care of our dad. And while we have a full spectrum of care, we rely on health care and community partners. We couldn't do it without a team that extends beyond us. We cover home base in the healthcare network of partners. We see and work with patients in their homes and communicate and connect patients to the appropriate care in the healthcare spectrum. There are a lot of players on this team. Our local hospitals, physicians and specialists, healthcare and residential facilities, elder services and councils on aging. Together, we collaborate and provide the support needed for each individual patient, along with the wellness of the entire community that we mutually serve. And we certainly wouldn't be able to do this work without our partners in the community who value the importance of our mission. The charitable support of these businesses and individuals, many of who are in the room tonight, is so vital to maintaining the strength of our organization, as well as our local healthcare partners, to weather the storms. You help raise awareness and champion the value we have in our community, which continues to develop the overall support of putting patients before profits. This evening, the Legacy of Leading acknowledges and celebrates a few of these people who share in the goals of ensuring quality, compassionate care for this community, and the role they play in allowing us to carry out a mission of caring for all. Their support comes in many forms, from charitable investments, serving in leadership roles, and placing value in our contributions to the health of our communities. By supporting the agencies of Home Health Foundation, Merrimack Valley Hospice, Home Health VNA, and Home Care Inc., these people, and those like you, share in making a very real difference in people's lives each and every day. This evening, the Legacy of Leading acknowledges and celebrates a few of these people who share in the goals of ensuring quality, compassionate care for this community, and the role they play in allowing us to carry out a mission of caring for all. We are proud to introduce them to you, David Laflamme and Suzanne and the late Clive Baz Bazioli, each a leader who has created a legacy for this community. Dave's a fellow that really truly understands the benefit of business partnerships with uh, public and service entities. He's uh, a terrific guy that's very committed to the community. He's a great guy to play golf with. He's a lot of fun uh, to be with. And I think that's probably one of the things that's most special about Dave is that he tries to make every day uh, not only a fun day but a productive day um, and to give something back and uh, to make every day worth just a little bit. Dave doesn't do anything without 
a vision and without a passion. And his vision for uh, our organization uh, was uh, well ahead of its time uh, to uh, suggest that, uh, you know, without Dave, frankly, we may not have been as robust, we may not have been as successful and as strong an organization uh, as we are today. One of the ideas uh, to be a successful community hospital is uh, to expand the offerings you have in Newburyport. Dave always wants to keep uh, patients in our community so that they don't have to travel into Boston. Dave's a guy that doesn't like to travel outside of Boston. Everything, you know, traveling for Dave is going to Plum Island, so he really is a community guy. He's an example um, of, for all of the employees of the bank of how we should give back and how we should share with the community that which we take from the community. Look, if you're, um, if you're starting a foundation or any kind of um, leadership role, David Laflamme's the kind of guy you want to bring in, not only early, but often. He, he'll, he'll do so much for your organization. He understands management. He lets management lead. He understands his role as a board member. Uh, from a governance standpoint, um, he supports um, management in, in a way that um, is just so responsible and in a way that allows an organization to, to kind of be special. And I know the work that he's done at the VNA in the early days um, to, as that organization started um, is probably part of the reason it's, uh, um, it's where it is today. I think his commitment uh, to the overall well-being of the healthcare community uh, truly is where Dave's passion has lied over the years and uh, not only did he has he served uh, uh, quite successfully on our board uh, but uh, is currently now the chair of the board of trustees for the Anna Jakes Hospital his commitment uh, extends really in, in three decades uh, of uh, governance and leadership uh, to the healthcare community of the Mer greater Merrimack Valley. Well, congratulations, Dave, and um, we hope you enjoy these moments of recognition for this legacy of leading that you've brought to this organization and to all of those folks around you. So enjoy the moments of recognition and appreciation. You deserve it. You've earned this. Uh, this has been a, uh, an award that kind of fits for you. This should be the David LaFlamme Award. Thanks, bud. Uh, you're a great friend uh, and a great family guy. In terms of an inspirational leader and what it's meant to the uh, overall success that we have had as an organization over these many years uh, with Dave's uh, sort of hand on the keel and uh, uh, fine touch uh, to the organization. We uh, are forever grateful. When you think of Clive and Suzanne, what comes to mind to me is that they're all in. Their generosity and commitment and support means to the overall initiative uh, that we have in the community is it puts us in a place where we're really second to none. I know that Clive and Suzanne had many philanthropic endeavors and I know that wherever Clive and Suzanne went, they did whatever they could do to make this a better world. They personally are very generous of spirit. Clive especially would help anybody. He would, if you needed to know more about your golf game, he would volunteer to help. If you needed advice about finances, he would volunteer to help. If you needed anything, the two of them would just step forward. So I think they have such a personal generosity about both of them. That was something that I think is striking and charitable beyond money. Clive and Suzanne were early in the process of our philanthropic effort to expand our hospice house. Uh, they took a leadership role uh, and set a standard for others uh, to emulate. Clive was, and Suzanne both were two of the most generous, caring, loving people I, I know. Um, they always did whatever they could do for, for anybody, whether it was uh, the membership in general here, myself personally, or um, the ownership group. Um, they all, I know they also 
uh, sponsored, helped sponsor the, the uh, Barbara Sager and the YMCA in their junior program here. Uh, Clive was always uh, present when the, the juniors were out. Uh, took a great uh, deal of liking to the juniors. Uh, had a in their, every year the opening ceremony. He was there for them to uh, impart his wisdom and his experience to them. So I think from an organizational standpoint, we have to be so grateful to people like Suzanne and Clive who are willing to donate and donate generously to the organization because without people like that we wouldn't be able to do the kinds of things that we want to do as an organization and that we need to do. I'd like to congratulate Clive and Suzanne for this great honor and the legacy of leading in the Merrimack Valley. Congratulations. What you have meant and what you have done and the connection that you have made with us uh, as a organization is truly reciprocated. Uh, we uh, feel so connected to uh, you both and, uh, and are forever grateful for uh, all that you have meant uh, to the agency, to our staff, patients and families. I just want to say that I had the privilege of telling Clive about this award and that he was so excited to be involved with it and Suzanne as well and I just want to say that it's well deserved and thank you Suzanne for being here tonight and being willing to go forward with this even though Clyde isn't here with you but we're all here with you and congratulations.